The 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 has okay. not I'm the only one who's going to We have to bring the programme to an end. Listen, listen. The, in the end, Boris just said one thing again and again. Get, get Brexit, Brexit done. done. And he won the election with a majority, which means he will now get Brexit done. Congratulations to Boris Johnson. Election coverage, election coverage continues. Election continues now with Julie Etchingham. Go on. <laughs> It does indeed. Thank you both. Thank you, Susanna and Piers. Good morning. On what for Boris Johnson, as they were just saying, is a morning of triumph. His gamble on a December election paid off. In some ways, all his Christmases have come at once. He's back as Prime Minister with the biggest Conservative majority since Margaret Thatcher's third election win in 1987. With one result to come, his majority is 78. He should now get his wish to deliver Brexit in the new year. So, inside Downing Street, this morning between resting and, of course, getting ready to go to Buckingham Palace later. The Prime Minister's planning to get Brexit done, of course, what he called this morning the irrefutable, irresistible and unarguable will of the people. A little earlier, we saw Mr Johnson with his partner, Carrie Simmons, talking of governing for everyone as One Nation Conservatives, he said. But results from Scotland and others from Northern Ireland suggest growing support for separate nations within the UK. We pulled it off. We, we broke the deadlock. We ended the gridlock. We smashed the roadblock. For the Labour leader, it was a disastrous night. The second defeat in just over two years. Not so much, oh, Jeremy Corbyn, but no, Jeremy Corbyn. He'll stay on, but only to oversee that contest to succeed him. And I will not lead the party in any future general election campaign. The Lib Dems, it was no go for Jo Swinson. She didn't just fail to deliver a breakthrough, she actually lost her own seat. She'll be arriving in London from her count in East Dunbartonshire. A little later, Nicola Sturgeon, on the other hand, look at these pictures if you haven't seen them already, plenty to celebrate. Scotland's first minister was the other big winner apart from the prime minister. Whose defeat was she celebrating here? We'll talk about that a little later. Well, over the next few hours, we'll be speaking to all the key political players as we begin to assess what happens next. To help, we have teams following all the party leaders, the end of a marathon for the leaders and our correspondents still standing there. They are, plus there are big stories to tell in Scotland and Northern Ireland, also in Wales. We have expert analysis from our correspondents there too. And I'll be live at Westminster with all the reaction as we digest the impact of this extraordinary result. And meanwhile, here in the studio, I'm joined by guests of my own and taking us through the detail will be our political correspondent, Carl Dinnan, and our long-time, long-serving election analyst, Professor Colin Rallings, who can put all of last night's results in context because he lived every moment of it, Colin. Mm -hmm. And what on earth will they make of this all over in Brussels, three and a half years on from when the UK first voted to leave the EU? Déjà vu, perhaps, as they say in French-speaking parts of the city. And on what was the first Christmas election in nearly 100 years, I'll be speaking to some voters about why they voted the way they did. Thanks, Geraint. First, uh, let's get a recap on the statistics of the night and see how many seats the parties have ended up with so far, with all but one of the results in. The Conservatives have 364 seats, up 47. Labour ended up with 203, down 59 the Lib Dems down to 11, the Brexit Party didn't win any and the SNP are up to 48, 13 more than last time round and the others make up 23, including the Greens keeping their one seat. It was a poor night for Northern Ireland's DUP. They lost two seats, including that of their Westminster leader, Nigel Dodds, leaving them with eight and Plaid Cymru stay on four seats in Wales. Well, at number 10, there is delight at the way things have gone overnight. There are some pretty tired but highly contented strategists and one very chuffed Prime Minister. Our political correspondent, Daniel Hewitt, is there. It was quite a night for Boris Johnson. What a massive gamble and one that paid off massively. It did, and he returned here with his girlfriend, Carrie Simmons, just after 7.30 this morning to what will be their permanent address for the next five years. He was addressing...